Hi everyone, welcome back to the Broken Room Workshop with me, Laura, and today we are continuing with part four of my Great Guitar Build-Off series. But before we start, I'd like to show off my new t-shirt, inspired by last year's Violet the Cow Guitar from the Great Guitar Build-Off. And it was very kindly designed by a friend of mine, Chloe, who owns It's a Sign uh, business over here, and she had a go at doing some t-shirt design, and I don't know about you, but I love it. So a few people saw us on a photo that was shared on Instagram a couple of days ago. Find me, laura.brokenwind. And if you want one, or you like the look of them, drop me a comment or find me through Instagram and I'm sure we can sort you out with one. In the meantime, enjoy part four. So I'm just having a bit of a play around with um, ideas here on the body because I'm still doing a bit of work on the, the shaping of these little flutings. But then I had the little brainwave that I could use the slightly larger Jersey granite pieces I have and dot them around what would be the middle of the poppy to make it look a bit more like the seeds of the poppy rather than the big black bit in the middle of the badge. Have it looking like the sort of black speckly seeds because the pickup's going to be black that this sort of area would look like the centre of the poppy without having to just stain the middle black. And I think I like it. So I think we're just going to get a load more granite put in it. Yeah, let's do it.
Right, well, we have a neck. You need to do the volute and the heel, but shape-wise, pretty pleased with that. It's the technique that I saw Ben do before I did the last build, which was my base, like Dennis the Menace. I was watching one of Ben's videos on him building a P base, and he marked the neck out by doing lots of small facets and then joining them up to make the curve, and it just makes sense to me. It's logical, it's quick, it's easy, and it's got pretty good results. So, yeah, shaping next, and then joys of sanding. point where the neck is completely shaped. I've done the volute and the heel and I've sanded the whole thing and the headstock up to 180 and before I go any higher up the grades I'm going to use some fabulous crimson grain enhancing filler in the ruby. Now I used this on the neck of the Dennis the Menace base build um, as that was ash and it just looked amazing. It made all the grain pop out but in a quite a subtle way and I think that will be really nice on here in that it will incorporate the red of the ruby up the neck but maintain the wood as naturally as possible so I am going to do a coat of this. So I'm just about to do my back plate for the control cavity with the magnets. I haven't played with these before so um, I've done the switch one as my sort of first trial and it went quite well so I thought I'd show you how I've done it and what I've done is I've um, just hammered in three tiny little power pins and then snipped the heads off so they're shorter so that now I can put this in place and apply some pressure and it will mark where I need the magnets to be on the top part so now I can drill some holes put the magnets in and we'll have, there you go, can you see there, Ooh, can't get in focus, there we go, um, hopefully have a screwless back plate. Right, so while that's got another coat of oil drying, uh, that's coat number three, I am going to do the job that I love to hate, which is the frets. I, I enjoy it when I'm doing it and I enjoy it at the end. It's just, yep.
thanks for watching everyone i hope you've enjoyed this installment if you have please give me a like uh, drop me a comment let me know your thoughts on on the progress um if you're really liking what i do with the channel please hit the subscribe button i'll be very grateful um take some time have a look at as many of the great guitar build off entries as you can in the main competition as well as the invitational there's some incredible things going on not only creative but innovative and just different and fun um I, there's just not enough hours in my day to catch up with all of them but i'm trying having a good look through a few and if you are able to please support the royal british legion smallest donation i'd be very very grateful for if you can and bear in mind this guitar will be up for sale in a few weeks time hopefully we'll raise a lot of money as much as we can for the royal british legion so bear that in mind if you're liking what i do and keep an eye out i'm guessing sometime in june it'll be appearing on ebay Thanks guys, speak to you soon.